Hi, beautiful Pisces. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Pisces, this is your monthly read for April of 2024. Before we get into your message, we're going to do an overall energy and then really get into the energy to really get your message and have the fairies come out at the very end to uh, give you some messages as well. But before that, um, <clears throat> I just want to say thank you so much for your likes, your thumbs up for the videos. Obviously, if you like the videos, your subscribes and your donations. I see them all and it really has started to help the channel move in the clear right direction. The algorithm is picking it up. So thank you so much for that. Pisces, I am a couple of days out from this new moon solar eclipse that is taking place in Aries and it's like, yeah, we're feeling this one. Uh, it was yesterday. Nope. The day before. It was the day before. I barely functioned. Such a pressure over my head and like really weird, just weird in my entire body. And it started out, it didn't start out good. <laughs> it's because they started out good. I just realized it took me almost like one and a half hour to get out of the bed. And then it sort of went on fine. And I did a couple of per personal readings. Right, it remi reminds me. I did a couple of personal readings. And then it sort of just got, it just, you know, I never got to the YouTube uh, videos because it just came to a halt. It just got blurry and weird. And speaking of personal readings, um, for the month of April, I do offer a 25% discount on personal readings. So if you're interested in one, you won't find anything about the discount. If you listen to this video, it's the only reason why you find that there's a discount. So uh, throughout April, if you're interested, send me a message and the discount 25% will be taken off the price that you find in the description. Okay. Okay. I will also on the 8th of April do a couple of like show up a couple of times during the day for a meditation to just sort of really harness the energy and really get into the fun and uplifting and light of that day. I know that there's a lot of fear, a lot of worry a lot of frustration going around and let's just not get into that energy at all okay pisces what do we have <clears throat> overall energy it always takes me a moment to really get to the message so just stay with me take a cup of tea cup of coffee cup of whatever what do we have for pisces please that was really smooth Face your fears. Okay. Face your fears, release the power of fear. That's interesting because, yeah, of what we just talked about. Although I talked about it for every single sign and it might have been Aries that got the face your fears card. I'm not going to swear on it, but I think so. We have so many different moon cycles up there. We have a wish fulfillment, like shooting a, a shooting star. I see the horse is not a full grown horse. I see this is a, what do you call it? Föl. The young horse? <laughs> Föl in Swedish. Um, face your fears. Okay, so what I'm getting around this is that you've started to feel into something that you're a little bit afraid to fully explore. I know that's very general and very vague. Or you, or you like, no, 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 I get it. Like, I completely get that. Now's the time that I wish that you could sort of, that this either was live or that you could just sort of give me feedback, like, right away. It just feels like it's something you just come across or you will come across in the month of April that feels a little bit scary to explore. Like where would that lead? Where would, where would that get me? What would come out of that? What if there's rejection? What if there's failure? What if there's success? What if, like there's so many, it's interesting because I called a video for what if, might be Capricorn or someone, something, someplace. Uh, <clears throat> It's like a lot of wondering, but it's more coming from a fear-based place than a, like an, an, an excited place. 
That's interesting. Face your fears. This is really interesting because now when I think about it, me and one of my sisters were talking just the other day, I think it was yesterday, that, you know, both of us are very like, if we feel any type of fear, or any, any type of worry around the situation, like we won't go there. Like, then it's just not for me. And I constantly say that to other people as well. When, when, when I hear people say, you know, you, you feel the fear and you do it anyway, you have the fear and you just still throw yourself out there. And I'm like, no, let's not do that. Because the fear is an indication that you're not ready. It's not the right time for it because there's a fear there. And, <clears throat> but in my, and what we talked about the other day was like, okay, but here's the thing, because my sister had listened to this podcast and she was like, this is so interesting. Because he was talking about how if it's something that you feel fear about, it's usually something that you want to do. There's the indication is actually that then you want to do it because of the fear. Because have you, have you at any time, when you think about something that you didn't want to do, did you have fear around it? Or did you just say, I don't want to do that? And you pulled back and, and that was that, you know? <laughs> so the actual, in, the actual indication that you, like that you have fear around it is the indication that you want to do it, that there's something here to it. There's something that could be of service, that could be of, of importance to you or something that you just want to explore. And that's why there might be a fear coming up. The interesting thing now, because then she was saying that, I was like, yeah, that's really interesting. It's really interesting that it's an indication that we want to do it because if we didn't want to do it, there's no fear attached to it at all. It just never comes up um, because then you're not faced with anything. So, but that in turn led me to think that, and this is really interesting because I have used, um, and please stay with me and, and think of like where this is going on in your life because there's a reason why I'm brought here and why I'm inspired to talk about this. Uh, <clears throat> so I feel like when, whenever I felt any type of fear, I just felt like, no, then, then it's not for me. And for me, sometimes that's been an escape. It's been like, a, almost like an easy way out. Obviously it's not an easy way out to not do the things you want to do because it's gonna be harder at the end of the day to not do the things that you want to do. But in the moment, it has felt easier to like, if I'm not comfortable or if I feel like a little bit afraid to do these things, then just mm, not for me, not, then, I, then I'm out. Well, what the realization that just came yesterday was that, okay, I'll, I'll buy that, that actually if I feel the fear, I can buy that completely and just without even having to think about that, I, I can buy that the fact that I'm feeling fear around it is that it's something that I want to do. But then it's not that you have to do it in that instant. Because it feels weird to me that you need to, do, you need to go do something that you feel fearful of. But there's no one telling you that you have to do it right now. So it's like, okay, I think I'm on something here. I don't, I don't have to continue to say, if there's certain invitations, if there's certain opportunities, if there's certain things coming my way, and I'm speaking for you as well now, Pisces, if there are th cer certain things coming your way, um, <clears throat> And you feel fearful for fe fearful or uncomfortable or like it's completely out of your comfort zone or like whatever like, like it's just yucky but there's excitement there at the same time so it feels like it's something that you want to do that just telling yourself that oh wow this is something that i'm fearing it means that it's something that i probably truly want it doesn't mean though that in this very moment i have to do it it means right now I'm beginning a journey. I'm beginning a journey to play down the fear and play up the thing that I want to do. Because if there's anything that I've, you know, learned over the years from experience is that as long as I don't have the full information or if I'm not sort of prepared, although these are very improv, improv uh, readings, like I'm not prepared, I'm, I'm going with what comes up here, it's a practice to just go with what comes, I'm trusting that the information, like I don't have like a manual or a script to, to tell you guys, I, I get a card and it's up to me to really be able to translate what I'm getting 
But this, I'm talking about um, where you don't feel safe, where it's completely new territory for you and you feel a fear around it. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. It just means we're going to work through the fear so that we can get to the thing that you want to do. And there's probably so much growth in that fear. So yes, feel the fear and do it anyway. No, feel the fear and go on the journey of playing down the fear or understand the fear or prepare, really get an understanding of what it is that you want to do and then you'll do it. And that sort of opened up so many, many things for me, but then that's what I'm, that's where I'm led because here it's like a, here I'm getting like, <laughs> don't ask why these things sort of stand up or, or where the message is like, what? This little fussy ball burning orange thing is talking about, it, it does today, it just does. Um, that there's something, Pisces, that you have come across that you're a little bit fearful, like you're a little bit fearful of it. Like you don't know what to expect or you don't know what's going to come, what's going to come out of it. There's also like it, that's why I'm saying is, could there be potential failure? Could there be potential success? It's like, well, if I explore this and like, it's almost like a little, when this revelation sort of almost a, a revelation came yesterday that, you know, no, it's not that I should do it anyway, but I will do it eventually. If I can just work through that fear, I will actually do this eventually. That, that in itself brings a little bit of like, oh, I can actually do this. So the fear is no longer like a safe card. The fear no longer takes me out of the equation. The fear is just an indication that I actually want to do this. You following me here? Okay, going deeper into this message, what do we have for Pisces, please, for the month of April? <laughs> yep. The lovers and the Knight of Michael. Well, it might be love. It, because it's such a it's a general read it's a it's it can literally be anything for for each and every one of you um this can be a relationship and we have knight of michael and the the foundation is face your fears like there there will be something that shows up in the month of april or it or it's already something that you know about that for some of you this will be a relationship that there is like um there's a presentation of whether that is a romantic partnership whether that is like a new business partner whether that is a friend whether that is a even a furry friend like there's a new like soul contract when it comes to partnerships that may feel a little bit um scary to explore but if it keeps at you, if it just keeps coming up or the person comes up or the situation around this relationship comes up or this opportunity to get a dog or a horse or a, you know, we have a young horse here. It might actually be like, like you're expanding whatever this is for you that is a little bit like, ooh, I don't know what's going to come out of that. I, I don't know what's going to happen if I explore this. But we have Nido Michael, which is a, it, it's a quick moving energy. It's time to make Okay, so I'm getting like I I just had that whole monologue about um feel the fear and don't do it anyway. Feel the fear and work through the fear and then and then do it. Um but there's something here like face your fears. There's something here that tells me that you actually have already I don't think that this is a new situation. Whatever opportunity this is, if this is like, the lovers can also be about just making decisions, that you have a choice about something. It doesn't have to necessarily have to be a lover, a relationship. It can be applying to that job, um, quitting that job, going on that journey, taking that trip, moving, um, 
choosing something new for yourself, like overall, just whatever that you, this is not something, what I'm getting is that it's not something new. You have actually been sitting with this for a while, for a moment. And then Ida Michael comes in to say, okay, Pisces, it's time to act. It's time to now take, make a decision. And so that we don't like, you know, at some point you, you probably just have to go, I'm not saying feel so much fear that you sort of can't ba barely move. But when you have worked through that and you have sort of really looked into what is this thing that you want, you get more and more information, you get more and more um, warm in your clothes around it. At the very jumping off point, it might still be a little bit of like, where is this going to land? Like a little bit of an excitement there still or nervousness. They're very close, those two, have you noticed? That at some point, you sort of just have to jump. And I think that you're there. Time to move quickly. Like now, choose logic over emotion. Like now it's just, it's almost like taking charge of yourself. Like saying, no, you know what? It's time. I've had enough. And I'm, again, not talking about when you just realize this and it, it, you're, you're almost paralyzed with fear. Or if this is some kind of like stage fright or speaking in front of people or... Um, asking someone out for a date or asking f for this partnership in something like if there's like a big like oh my god what's gonna happen if I actually put myself out there you've had enough time now to think about it like this is the time of action to make this choice like you have what it takes to make this choice and if you're gonna wait until the very last like little nervous slash exciting feeling is gone you probably will will wait forever and so I'm talking about maybe have gone from 80 percent fear to like we're down to five percent and those five percent are fine you're fine can we clarify this going deeper still I think it's something you really 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 want something that really plays to your heart and something that feels important to you. And that's why it gets, you know, so you're thinking it through. It has to, you have to get this one right. It has to be, you know. But the thing is, there's always another. And I don't want to sound like that because if someone says, you know, if someone said to you, Oh my God, this is getting dark. But like, okay, I, I have to use this analogy because I'm giving it. So I'm just going to trust it. If someone has a child and you lose that child, obviously, if you hear, if someone said to you, there's always another child, <laughs> you probably would also send that person to the other side. It's like, are you real? Like, that was my child. Like, my child. That's my blood. That is my biology. There's not, not just one other, it's not just one other there. If you're with your soulmate of, I don't know, three, five, 15 years, and that person, for whatever reason, that person is no longer in your life, whether, let's not go there. They're just not in your life anymore. And it just, it just takes you to your knees. You're, this this was your person. This was it. <coughs> and one minute after someone says, there's, th there's plenty of fish in the sea. Well, you go drown yourself in that sea then, please. Because that was my person. So I get it. But there are, if we take a lighter approach to this planet, and to our ownership of our children, parents, friends, connections, that is actually not an ownership. It's actually, do you know what? If you're supposed to have another child, you'll, you'll have another child one way or another. If there's going to be another soulmate in your life, it will be another soulmate in, in your life. You might not want just have one single person. It actually is more people out there. And for some people, this probably will rob you, rob you. Uh, rub you the wrong way if you're too early out of that don't listen to anything that I'm saying right now if you're at the very end of, like if you've been through this for a, for a while 
it feels like it's really important now. Now you're at the next. Like you might be looking at adoption and you just want to get it right. Or you might be looking at a soulmate and it just needs to be like the person for the rest of your life. We in Americas, they have something called your forever home. That this is your forever home. Talk about pressure. Why is it a forever home? It's, it feels really, really good right now. I can see myself here as living here forever, but who knows? You know, there's something to it right now going on that you feel like there's a, such an important decision or choice or... And, and if you can play that down a little bit and just say, you know what? Yes, this feels really important to me, but if this goes sideways... There might be another chance with the same situation a little bit like later on, or there's plenty of fish in the sea. It really is. Although that fish in the sea will be perfectly designed for you. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I almost feel targeted. Like I need to go hide here a little bit. Wow, she yelled. We have deception and envy and power. So, <coughs> and instantly. <coughs> my, thro <coughs> my throat just, it was almost like, <coughs> it was almost like I couldn't open my mouth and, and start talking or like, uh, it's almost like it turned a little <clears throat> thing in my throat. I do have a little bit of a cough and I, I have, I come from like a forever cold, but this was like a, it just switched on in my throat. It was like someone just did this <clears throat> throat chakra, speaking your truth, being your authentic self, setting boundaries, um, Showing up in the world as the realest version of, of oneself that oneself can possibly be, Pisces, <clears throat> is, is throat. <clears throat> and here I'm getting, okay, so you're coming from a place where you're actually facing your fears. So you probably are pushing through something. You're pushing through something and you're actually getting through it. You're getting through it through the other side. You're making it such a change that it's annoying to other people. You're stepping into your power. You're finding your power. I mean, I love this because we have six, <clears throat> six on the table. And, the, <coughs> and then we have seven and eight. So it's a really beautiful pro process here, but also to remember and, and remind yourself that it is a process. Um, some people won't like the change of Pisces because it's just hard to see someone if you've been like playing on the same field as someone for like a really long time <clears throat> to just add some spice to the sauce and you're fi finally or eventually or you come to now this point where you're like okay I'm going to actually go do the things that I want to do. I'm actually going to show up in the world as who I am. I'm not going to hide anyway. Anyway, I'm not going to hide anymore. I'm not going to play it safe or like whatever. You really are starting to step into your power. You're, you're coming out as your true, authentic self. I'm getting dizzy as I talk about this. So it's probably really, really important for you to just be the most authentic version of you might be something that you've been holding back it can just be that you have been living i mean i know what what that feels like to live in your fear and have fear making decisions throughout the day it becomes the new norm so you don't even understand how much power or how much light or how much shine you're pushing down until you lift that little little bit again it's like oh my sweet lord how much have i hold, held myself back and sometimes you're holding yourself back. It can be like, it's such a classic, just such a cliche, cliche, <laughs> I can't speak today. It's such a cliche and a classic that we are so loyal, our parents or our guardians, 
that we never supersede, we never surpass them. So if that, if they struggle with money, <clears throat> you will never get richer than they were. If they struggle with their self image or their weight or their health, you will never get healthier or more in the body that you actually would like, or uh, take whatever, whatever, just look at what your parents struggle with. And it's such a loyal thing for children. It might be even be like, even as grown up children, we don't even understand that we still do it. And there's like this classic that when people's parents die is the first time that they sort of are relieved. They're, they're freed from their chains to hold back, to be loyal to their parents. Don't let me outshine you, sweet mother or father or guardian. So that might be going on. Um, for whatever reason, it might be that you, you have been holding back. Just going to get up to for whatever reason you have been holding back and and you're not you're just not anymore and you don't your parents don't have to die you're it might just not even be a thing like that you just realize that i i can't play it small anymore you you just have to follow just spit there beautiful uh you just have to follow your path and doing that <clears throat> and truly stepping into your power or at least becoming more powerful Others that has a hard time to follow that, to make that change in their own life, to see you change in such a profound way that maybe you're changing your ways a little bit, can be tough on other, other people. And certainly those that are, have been following you for such a long time, it can even be parents that are like not too happy about your change. Then to just stand your ground, uh, Pisces, just stand your ground. And know that the, the only reason why someone gets jealous or envious or tries to sort of bring you down a little bit <clears throat> or coming with snark remarks or like, like, since when did you like so much bling? I don't know. Um, since when did you like to do this or that, you know? Since forever, I just never knew how to play it out or how to create it or how to live it it's just they're wanting to do the same a lot of people might come around after a while when they see the inspiration that you bring with changing your story okay <clears throat> can we just get one more card we're going to get to the fairies your fairies are going to give you some messages but just one more around this situation please Pisces for April. Joy and stability is what you're stepping into. I love this explosion of the solar plexus, which I love because it's all about the sun right now. The sun eruptions and the sun, the, the, the strength of the sun is like at its peak right now. It's so magnetic and it's so strong and it has a direct link to your solar plexus. It's where you draw everything in. And lastly, over to your fairies. <clears throat> what do you have for, uh, uh, not Aquarius, for Pisces, please. Have I said Aquarius before? Skapa musik. <laughs> Sorry, just got a little voice there. That's my Elliot that came in. <clears throat> what else for Pisces, please? And look within. So in Swedish, it says skapa musik, which is create music. Maybe bring out that harp of yours that you have in the closet. <laughs> <clears throat> no, but just, I mean, if you're anything like me, I mean, I have been doing music in my life and been singing and writing and whatever. Just being around music, singing, humming, creating, listening to, 
if you play an instrument, get that instrument out and play it because it's, it's going to create so much, so much, um, flow right now, so much joy and satisfaction and flow, get into that music. Or if you, if you're like, no, I don't, then just listen to it. Listen to music that really elevates your spirit. And look within. It says Sök inom dig in Swedish. Which says look within. Like really. I mean this is such a nest. Maybe really create that nest of yours. Like this sacred space somewhere in your life. Whether indoors or outdoors or both. Where you get to sit and be just with your own thoughts, with yourself, with no one else, where it's just complete stillness and just feels really beautiful where you sit and just go within. That is what I have for you for the month of April. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys.